My name is Tom Cannon, the Poet Laureate of Oshkosh. Welcome to this little podcast. I am uh, recording this today at a condo in Tennessee. I'm on vacation. So I want to share with you some thoughts. Today my message is, poetry gets beyond the facts. In a way, a poem is like a sculpture. Reality is this piece of granite, and then you take away anything that isn't art. You know, uh, cameras on phones are great. It's a great way to record an event. You take a picture of beautiful things, the sunset. And that's important, but it doesn't evoke the same expression as art. Poetry records those images and they try to reproduce it within their reader's mind with imagination, but they also want to infuse it with the poet's reaction and do it more. And the great thing is that everyone's interpretation is different. And in poetry, that is where the mystery comes in. In an interview with Nicholas Gulick, the Wisconsin Poet Laureate, I heard him say how he's focused more on how the next word reacts with the previous word musically or lyrically than it with anything else. Some poets say focus on this so much. I don't think Nicholas does that all the time, but he they focus so much on what the word demands to be the next musically that uh, it's difficult to know the message. We've all read poems, right? Where the poet focuses so much on what word demand, be, demands to be next musically that it's difficult to even know the message. See, those poets are like abstract artists. They have this idea. They have a feeling, and that's the only thing they try to recreate. Other poets paint watercolors with their words. You see the image they created, and it's still a representation of reality. But it's a with a focus on the reaction and the emotion of that poet. I tend to be whatever type of painter Norman Rockwell was. I add texture and layers to my poetry, but I still end up accurately recreating my subject. I just hope there's a little bit of mystery in there, but they tend to be straightforward. Here's a poem I published, had published in the Front Porch Review in July of 2021. In Your Sunrise. Remember when I lived on the porch of your mind, embraced you before you took on the world, took off your shoes upon your return? It's where I wanted to see life go by. The painted floor cooled my cheek. In your sunrise, I stood and stretched to see the last bit of you walking away. Just, you know, like any poet, I want to make my poems as beautiful as I can. And I really don't want to leave a lot of mystery to it. It's kind of a balance. You, you get what you read, but hopefully there's still more to go back and think about it, maybe reread it. At times, as a poet laureate, I've been doing more and more playing around my poems. I've tried to edit it out, tried to leave only the beautiful parts, and somewhere I read, you know, you write poetry, you just write fragments, okay? So I try to write fragments, reveal more mystery than it was before. Uh, so I took it a, a stab at stripping my poem away. I still think that there's still that, no, not a lot of mystery. I took out some words, and I tried to leave just mostly images. In your sunrise, on the, my cheek cooled by the gray floor. In your sunrise, I stood to see the last bit of you walking away. See, with all poets, revising is a way to get to know that poem and find out how it should be shaped. And that is why working on your poem, by sculpting it with various techniques and cutting away the words that don't need, is important. And that's why editing is important. You, you work with your poem, and by sculpting it with various techniques and cutting away of words don't need to be there, you show more universal truths.